Hi guys, this is Apple Help and this is a video of how to do a solid state hard drive upgrade on your MacBook. Now this really is one of the best upgrades you can do, so follow these steps. Remove the battery cover and then inside there will be a cover which uh, covers the RAM, housing and also the hard drive. And all you need to do is undo these three screws using a very small Phillips screwdriver. So go ahead and do that and you know as I said this literally will transform your machine um, I'm upgrading it with a 128 gigabyte hard drive but you can do 256 they really are coming down in price now so it really is a sensible thing to do and so if you have got an old MacBook that's lying around you'll be amazed at the difference if you don't like it you can obviously always just take it out and um, you know not bother but rather than selling it for pittance on eBay or on Craigslist you really need to look at doing this because it really makes it a very very usable machine afterwards so undo those three screws and just prise out the cover there and then when you spin the machine round, you'll see that there is a hard drive little flap which you just need to give a quite a sharp pull to just lift that out like that give it a sharp pull and it really is quite fitted in there quite firmly and so just really give it a good tug so when you give that a big tug it will come out and you'll you know that will be your hard drive and it is in an enclosure at the moment so it's wrapped in that metal enclosure you can choose if you do have hex tools you can choose to undo those four screws and wrap your new hard drive the new solid state drive and popping it in that way i found that there wasn't a need my drive fitted in really well and didn't move around at all. This is the hard drive that I've used. It's a 128 gigabyte Samsung drive. Tip it upside down and then just pop it straight back in. So now you need to put the machine back together and I'll do this in quick time. But as I said guys, if you have got an old MacBook lying around or you can pick up one very cheaply, this is probably the best upgrade you can do and it will transform the machine. So my original boot time was around about 2 minutes 30 and I'll just speed this up for you and you can see that we come out at about 30.5 I think it is seconds. It's actually 30.3 but there you go, very easy. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.